Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. So a few months back, I did the trailer reaction for the movie Pray for the Devil. Well, I recently watched it. The trailer was amazing. Was the movie just as good? I'll be right back. So Pray for the Devil was released October 28th, 2022. It's PG-13. It was directed by Daniel Stom and it's starring Jacqueline Byers as Sister Anne. She's from the TV series Salvation. It's also starring Colin Salmon as Father Quinn. He's from the Resident Evil movies and Alien vs. Predator. Um, so I love him. He was actually an Arrow in the beginning seasons. I'm a big fan of his. So this movie was originally supposed to be called The Devil's Light, which is dark and, dis you know, mysterious, but I really like Pray for the Devil. And Pray is spelled P-R-E-Y instead of P-R-A-Y. Now, I remember watching the trailer for the first time. I'm like, wow, this looks scary. This looks amazing. I love exorcism movies. So it's about Sister Anne. She is a young nun who had trauma growing up. Her mother was dealing with some mental issues, possibly a possession. She thought her mom was possessed. Everyone else said, no, your mom had, I'm, I'm not sure if they specifically named something like schizophrenia, but she was dealing with issues. Um, and then her mom eventually, you know, commits suicide when, you know, she was younger. So Sister Anne is doing what, you know, a, a good nun does, but she wants to do more. Like she wants to be a part of the actual exorcisms. So she kind of sneaks into the classes where, you know, there's old men, the nuns are not supposed to be there. So she kind of sneaks in, she's, she, you know, a little rebellious, like she, she has a calling and she knows that this is what she's supposed to do. So I don't want to give too much of the movie away. I want to say off the bat, it was a good movie. I did enjoy the film, a lot of jump scares. My biggest complaint about it though, is a lot of the scary scenes in the movie were in the trailer. So you're not really getting too much, you know, too much more than that. Um, which is a little disappointing, but doesn't stop the film from being good. Um, I enjoyed the cast. I, you know, good acting. And there was a young actress in this movie, Posey Taylor. She plays the character Natalie. Um, little spoiler, she is possessed in this film. And to me, she's one of the scariest aspects of the entire film. She does an amazing job. And there's a little like story later on about her in the film that's pretty interesting that I didn't really not, I did not see coming. But overall, she's just a great part of the film and just such a great young talent. There's... Um, some things throughout the film that I didn't expect to happen, which was nice. It wasn't completely predictable. Um, I, I liked the ending. I enjoyed it. It kind of opened it up for more films, which I'm, you know, no complaints here. It was, you know, I, I, like I said, I liked it. So I would definitely watch more of it. I would watch this film again. Uh, I, yeah, my biggest complaint is that you know, a lot of the story gets shown in the trailer. I really hate when they show too much. You know, that's, it just kind of like takes the mystery out of the film. It kind of takes the, you know, show enough to get us in, but don't show us the entire thing. Um, overall, a rating I would give for it is I, what's, a seven and a half, I, I say. You know, like, I think a seven would be too low. Now, I don't want you to think that the only exorcisms you see are in the trailer. Like, there are more, but the jump scares, they're really you saw in the trailer if you watched it. Um, so Cardinal Matthews, one of the characters in the movie, played by Ben Cross, he actually passed away of cancer 10 days after filming his last scene. Um, rest in peace to Ben Cross. I just thought that was a little, you know, it, it always, you know, gives me like chills watching these films. And then finding out like days after, you know, they're done filming, somebody passes away, like somebody you just watched on TV. Um, but yes, like I said, the, overall, this movie is a great movie. I do recommend it. I don't think so much is shown where it's like, it makes it like, what's the point of even watching? But I just wish they would have left some things to be like a mystery, but it is a good film. 
it was probably one of my favorites of 2022 so definitely check it out comment down below let me know if you've watched it already what you thought or if you plan on watching it as always guys thank you so much for watching i'll be right back